welcome to London, where I haven't been since the last night of Lame Is. So I'm actually quite excited to be out and about. And just to quickly clarify, this is work related. As stated by the government, if you cannot work from home, then you are allowed to travel to work. And seeing as I cannot do a costume fitting at home, and entertainment venues have all been deemed places of work by Oliver Dowden. So work can still continue for things like costume fittings, set building. I think at this point even rehearsals can continue um, in a limited capacity, um, but we cannot perform. So there's little point in rehearsing at the moment when we don't know when we're going to be able to perform on stage. But I'm on my way to a costume fitting for a ball gown, for a ball gown. And I cannot see a thing, so I'm going to take these off for a second. But oh my god, I'm just so excited to see other human faces. As much as I love Oliver, and as much as I love my cat, Edgar. It's going to be really exciting to see other human faces in the flesh. But it's very, very weird coming through London when it's this dead. I don't think I've been through London when it's this dead. It's also early. It's like half nine. But I think even when I came into London last year, lockdown restrictions were kind of lifting. Whereas this is like, I mean, this is Leicester Square and there's like two people I can see. But whilst I'm up here, I'm really hoping that something like a Boots is gonna be open. It probably won't be and I'll do it online, but just whilst I'm here, it would be so good to be able to get some toiletries. We'll see, we'll see. Now I've seen the Mary Poppins, but I had no idea we had a Harry Potter. He's really cool. I completely forgot to change the battery in my camera. So if the quality suddenly changes, it's because I have had to switch to my mobile phone. But I forgot to say, I have to be tested before my fitting today, but my test is at the Gillian Lynn at the actual theater. So I'm so excited to go there first. So excited to go there first um, and just have a little nosy as much as I can, which might not be a lot, but. Okay, Pret is open for takeaways only. That is good to know. Come at me, Pret sandwich. Also, can we talk about this for a second? I've had this since 2016, and I feel like it suits my style more now than I ever did back then. This is why I hold on to things. So weird, I just walked past Matilda, the Cambridge Theatre, and that's where we had a workshop, one day of a workshop back in March of last year. And the last time we were there, this was all like really new, like no one was wearing masks Yeah, It was all just, this virus might be a thing, but we didn't really know. By the way, I will never get used to seeing that. That is so cool. That's me. That's me. So I am COVID negative and I just got a tour of the theatre. I got to see the stage as they're working on it and oh my god, you are not ready. You are not ready. Whatever you think Cinderella is going to be, it's not. It's just not. Unless you think it's gonna be amazing, in which case you are correct. But looks wise, whatever you think it's gonna be, throw all expectations out the window and just go and enjoy it when it's finally open. Because I guarantee you it is not what you think it's going to be. Oh my god. So now I'm just on my way to my fitting. And then I've been asked to go back to... Sorry, my hair's all squiffy from my hard hat. Um, I've been asked to go back to the theatre after my fitting to do little filming bits to camera. But before that I'm going to have to go and buy some makeup. Because <laughs> I didn't bring any with me and I didn't expect to be filming today. And I need to go get some lunch as well after my fitting because I'm not eating yet. So, see you in a bit. just come out of my fitting and when I got some food and some coffee which was much needed 
The ball gown's looking good, people. It's looking good. Um, but London has decided to delight us with a bit of rain. Um, and because I've been asked to go back in and do some filming, I am not camera ready. So I had to quickly pop in and get some makeup. That's fine because I was running out at home anyway. So that's one trip done and Boots was open, thank goodness. So now, here we go, back to the theatre. I mean, I come dressed as the Gillian Lynn. What have I done? I'm literally dressed as the theatre. Well, there we go. The day is over. That was so funny. There were some guys walking past as I was taking pictures of the front of the theatre. And I was like, oh, it's not going to open anytime soon. And I said, oh, I hope it does. I'm in it. And it was really sweet. He was like, oh, no, what have you been doing for the last year? Have you been all right? How have you been coping? I was like really worried about how I'd been for the last year and like how actors have been surviving. It was just really sweet. What a lovely man. I don't think I've ever heard this properly working before. Can you hear it? That's really cool. I've always seen it, but I've never heard it actually working. 